G'day folks. I just wanted to give a shout out to Mike's Electric Stuff uh, channel. Uh, post a link in the description to that one. Um, I was just watching this electronic lighting transformer one, which was sort of something I already knew. I knew they were a switch mode supply, although not quite as basic as they are. Uh, but he showed me something interesting, which is that you can actually use the output to very weakly drive a flyback transformer. Uh, it's something I wasn't aware of at the time, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway over here and uh, see how well it works. I've got a um, little old-fashioned black and white TV flyback, not the modern resin block. Um, monitor flyback like the one he's using but we'll see how well it drives the little uh, 10kv black and white television flyback and it looks like he's got one or well, he's got one lamp connected up normally and the other one's connected in series through the uh, looks like roughly 12 turns of wire on the ferrite core uh, it's not even very it's just loosely wound on there it's not even a proper winding it's just a bit of bit of flex wound onto it so <coughs> I'll give it a bit of a, a bit of a shot Although I believe you'd be using uh, solid single core wire, not stranded. I don't think it makes much difference. I've never tried stranded. I should try it one day. But solid core wire is about all you need. Okay, so I found my box of lighting gear that I've had for a while. A friend of mine's in the shop fitting business, so he's always giving me old uh, ballasts and power supplies and halide lamp stuff. So, slight, slightly putting it to use. I'll find two good bulbs for the... Um, the ballasting or for load and uh, yeah make a little pr primary around the ferrite on this uh, old-fashioned TV flyback it's an old NEC model quite neat they look pretty good too compared with the um, resin block ones I much prefer the look of these old transformers they tell you they mean business <laughs> so I've got transformer pick out two good halogens and just test run it these things are useless nowadays uh, they're just a standard magnetic ballast transformer um, not really any particular use I mean you can still use them for lighting but they're just heavy expensive and uh, they get hot they burn out eventually although these things fail too so you can't really complain so yeah I'll test some of these lights wind a primary and just see how we go okay and there we have it pretty straightforward uh, 10 turn primary I'm using single core wire just from a bit of ethernet cable I just stripped down some of this uh, regular ethernet cable and uh, yeah did 10 turns for the primary and it works I had a minor arc over between the second wire from the primary the grounding wire but it was just going to the ferrite core so I just cleaned up cleaned it all up and gave it a dab of um, roof and gutter silicone and that's completely stopped that so we're pretty much good to go and to enable it, like I've got wiring across that just turns the light on, that's directly through the light but if we go through the primary we get a nice little buzz it's burning the polycarbonate it's just a bit of a diffuser from an LCD monitor very handy things to keep computer monitors usually have nice thick pieces of material and it's to my knowledge, not electrically conductive. It smells like uh, polycarbonate or um, acrylic. You notice, depending on the um, the length of the arc, the lamp or short arc means more current. The lamp doesn't drop light up as much. But if I draw the arc out a bit, I suddenly drop the camera you know what happened <laughs> like it's not, it won't kill you but it'll burn it'll be very painful if this does zap you I mean this wire isn't even insulated to this kind of voltage so Nothing seems to be complaining, so... Yeah, it's the HF burn that you get from these that hurts the most. I did it years ago with a, um, a similar size transformer and it actually burnt a hole in my finger. I didn't notice the shock, I just noticed the smoke and the burn. 
horrible, horrible smelling smoke. The smell of burnt, burnt human flesh is not pleasant. But every HV enthusiast experiences it once or twice. Hopefully I won't today doing this. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love to see me drop the camera and bloody jump around on the floor. I mean, it wasn't even that bad. I didn't even jump when I zapped myself with a um, CCFL power supply off a flatbed scanner. Now it smells like I'm getting stuff hot, so we'll disconnect it. And, uh, yeah. No. It's obviously just what I'm burning and heating up here that's starting to smell. Primary's cold. Secondary toroide or whatever it is, the winding pack is cold. Not actually a toroid, it's a, just a. It looks like it might have a toroid in it, but it's not. It's actually just a continuous hair thin wire just around and around and around on a bobbin. Really fine wire. That's why these don't put out much current, they're just so fine. This is only a little 10k V1. I'll uh, strip one out of a colour television soon and just see what that does but I imagine the result would be the same. So there you go. Those people who've been asking me to show you a basic flyback driver, well, Mike uh, showed, him, or showed me, and now I'm showing you. So yeah, go subscribe to Mike's electrical stuff. He takes apart a lot of cool goodies. He did a um, aviation gyroscope computer thing a little while ago, and that's a fascinating piece of equipment. Really interesting stuff. So yeah, go subscribe to his channel. And thank you, Mike, for showing me this one. This will be, actually be quite handy in a number of little projects and things that I've been thinking of. A, it'll be good for pest deterrent, which is, I mean, sort of overcomplicating things from a manufacturing point of view, but at least it certainly wouldn't be lethal. Oh, and um, I've got some old lamps and things. I've got some uh, UV lamps from water sterilizers. So I might try and power one of them up with maybe a colour TV flyback or something. Or even just connect it to a fluoro tube. They're always fun. It takes a bit to pop a fluoro tube with over voltage. You actually got to burn the filament up and break the glass. But we'll try it anyway. <laughs> so there you have it. Basic flyback driver using a electronic lighting transformer. Doesn't have to be a Luxman. You can get. I think Philips was the brand that Mike was playing with. Um, you can get them from the electrical shops for like. 20 30 dollars I think um, they're pretty damn cheap I even just get the generic Chinese ones that, as a disposable thing if you're going to blow it up doing something like this you might as well buy a dirt cheap one don't go out and buy professional grade Luxmans these ones here can handle something like four lights some of these have three or four light attachments on them so yeah there you go thanks for watching